Despite the fact that the European Commission softened its initial proposals in a new package of sanctions against Russia, the EU countries could not reach an agreement, political reported citing several EU diplomats, in particular Greece and Hungary, continue to insist on the exclusion of their companies from the list of organizations sponsors of the war formed by Ukraine. But other countries, including Germany and France, fear that a ban on circumvention of sanctions could harm diplomatic relations with third countries such as Turkey and China. In late May, a number of European media and diplomatic sources reported that the European Commission's initial draft set of sanctions had been rejected and sent back for revision by the EU member countries, which feared that such measures will only serve to isolate the EU in the world. From political publication. According to Politico, citing a representative of the US Department of State, Moscow has stepped up efforts to circumvent sanctions. The problem is that European companies sell materials to other countries, which in turn resell them to Russia. The State Department names Armenia one of the key countries contributing to the circumvention of sanctions. According to the World Bank, GDP of Armenia, which maintains close trade ties with Russia, unexpectedly grew by 11% last year, while exports to Russia increased fivefold and remained remittances from Russia sevenfold compared to the previous year. By the start of this year, Russia was able to re-import certain key categories of electronics, the chips, processors and integrated circuits needed to manufacture modern weapons, at about pre-war levels. The circumvention of sanctions remains a significant problem. Jim O'Brien, sanctions coordinator at the US State Department, in an interview with Politico. The U.S. names four more countries besides Armenia that help Moscow bypass the restrictions. In particular, these are Turkey, Kazakhstan, Georgia and the United Arab Emirates. This year, the Arab company bought more than half a thousand clothing stores from the Spanish holding, which have already opened under the new brand. Of course, there were financial losses. People just didn't understand what was happening. They kept the money. I understand that the losses were in the billions of dollars across the industry. But in any case, it is recovering. It goes from one world to another. However, the current Western sanctions still complicate Russia's trade operations. According to the Minister of Foreign Affairs of Lithuania, new supply chains through third countries undermine Europe's efforts to punish Moscow and they should be blocked. Most EU countries believe that sanctions should be imposed against third-party companies that re-export sanctioned goods to Russia, recall that President Volodymyr Zelensky promised to start a public fight against countries that help Moscow bypass sanctions, and he noted that because of this, Russia can increase the production of missiles. Reported by Diana Kolesnik, Kristina Dombrovska, UATV News.